today's scripture. Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. The second is this, love your neighbor as yourself. There is no commandment greater than these. Mark 12, 30 and 31. Well, good morning, thanks for joining me. I'm at uh, Lake Margaret, east of Duval in King County. It's a nice little lake, very quiet here, very peaceful. And uh, we'll see if we can't get things a little bit more exciting with some catching instead of just fishing here. So as usual, I'm uh, starting out with uh, my uh, homemade spinners. It's just nothing more than like a rooster tail blade and eight or nine uh, beads, red beads, and a number two red hook. We'll start out with bare hooks this morning and see how that works. Okay. Fish between probably 0.7 and one mile an hour seems to be pretty effective in most of these lakes, the lowland lakes. So we'll see this morning how that works out. So my name is Jim Healy. My website is kayakingitup.com. I don't know if you can read it from the hat or not. And if you go to the website, there's a link to my YouTube channel. There we go. A good hit there. And a fish. Nice. Looks like a planted rainbow. Get him up here where we can see him better. Nice lip hook there, so easy to release. All right, so I'll get my speed up again here for my other rod. So nice, little rainbow, good color, he's not beat up. Uh, he's also not happy to be in my net. Nice uh, Lake Margaret rainbow. Oh man, oh man, he's like really excited here. Yep, he's gone. A bear hook, as I said, I'd be using, and uh, uh, and this has worked out to be. I don't know if you could see this or not. Let me get this up here close. There is just not much to this, and it has been excruciatingly successful at catching rainbow trout in a lot of lakes. All right, let's try again here. I guess, I guess bear hooks are working pretty good. Oop. Okay, well maybe I'll wait on the bait. It's a little fatter one. Get him netted up here. Okay, so that's two. Oh yeah, boy, he just Hopping in and jumping all over the place here. That's... Equipment released. That's number two. Oop, 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 oop. He doesn't want his picture taken, but you can see. Nice, healthy fish. He just wants in the water. Got fish number two. So that puts me maybe I don't know, maybe 20 minutes fishing. It's my kind of time frame. That was a good strong hit, but he took it right at the surface and I heard him splash. So he come up and tossed that head and off went the hook. So. And I got two and I, two shook off next to my yak. 
Um, yeah, it's pretty. It's pretty. Uh, all it is is a spinner blade, a little number two spinner blade, and eight, uh, two or three millimeter red beads, and a number two red hook. There's another one here. Yeah, I can show you the spinner in a minute. It's pretty, I mean, it's really simple, and it's worked in every lake I fished in. No, I just, my, you just got a hit there. No, I just, my, uh, my swivel's the only weight. I'm fishing like 18 inches deep, maybe. I, yeah, I know. I almost scared to bring my tackle box with me. I was just gonna put bait on when the first one hit. Oh, is it? That's a. That was a. That was a cutthroat. Maybe. Well, I'm headed. Mentally, I'm headed back for uh, to try a salmon egg or a piece of worm. Let's see if I can't scare up a little more consistent action here. Strong hit on that worm like one minute after I put it out there. I did not pay attention to the detail on that one very well, so I will on this one. Oh man, there's some big fish that are splashing. Very active, very active out here. Man, I didn't even get my rod in the rod holder. I got another one. That was that worm. Fresh worm. Probably can see him splashing behind me. A good fighter. Really good fighter. Swivel. That's another. I think it's another small cutthroat. Let's take, take, take a look at him real quick. Yeah. Yep. Another. Getting up to speed here. Yeah. Another cutthroat. Little little itty bitty guy. Yeah. Unhooked. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's a, yeah, he's got the red throat, red throat on him. A little coasty. Pretty small. Maybe, he's maybe eight inches. But if this is not fun, then you are not destined to be a fisher person. I gotta tell you. Because this is fun. I love the catching. It's all good. There's a nice fish. That is a nice fish here. As I've said before, it hurts my feelings that they don't like my yak as much as I do. 
Oh, come on, stay in the water. Mm. All right, last run. Come on, in you go. Okay. So there we've got. Uh, oh, that's a nice cutthroat. Nice cutthroat. That's bigger than the uh, rainbow plants in here. Nice. Get him up here. Right, open your trap. There we go. So yeah, he's as big as. Pretty sure that's a cutthroat. The orange on his on his throat there. Get him back in the water. So I'm going to go up and uh, share one of my spinners with a couple of guys that launched the same time I did this morning. I just saw them reel in a fish, so they were dragging woolly boogers, and then they were going to try other stuff. So and uh, come along and uh, check out some of the lakes I've been exploring. A number of them I've never been to, so it's kind of fun. And uh, hopefully see you on the water, and maybe both of us can do more catching than fishing. Thanks for coming along. See ya. So I'm going to keep try to keep from following your line. Oh, you're all right. Here's a sample. Oh, okay. sweet. Thank you. If you go to why? Oh, I don't know. I can do almost five in this. Yeah. So if you go to kayakingitup.com, like the hat. Yep. Thank you. You bet. Yeah, we'll put this on. Yeah, give it That's a shot. Neat, neat kayak. Yeah. Yeah. Not yet, but it's coming up. <laughs>